Hi there, it's Yaz here, and I wanted to take a few moments to review my Cornell style of note taking. Cornell notes were developed by Walter Pock in 1950. He was an education professor at Cornell, and it's a system that essentially divides the paper into two sections one topic and concept section, and the other a note taking column. I don't use the bottom section here very much, which is the summary reflection section at the bottom of the paper, uh, but it is a great way to close a lesson and for students to ask questions. The way that I mostly use this note-taking system is by providing students with templates on a daily basis of the material we will cover. This template is bare bones and allows students to add many concepts, topics, and notes on their own. This template includes only the topics and concepts we review that day. So on days like this or on days like this, students are doing the majority of the writing of the notes. On days like this, I am intending to save time on note taking and want students to have notes which they can use to study. This is how I tell them to study. I uh, tell them that they can use this line here in the center to fold the paper so that they can only see the left hand side column here and try to remember as much information from the right hand side column as possible and to be able to quiz themselves by flipping the paper back and forth between these two sections. It's a great tool to use for note taking and for studying and while my methods haven't been quite refined on teaching kids quite how to study, at the very least these notes serve a purpose of having content for students to be able to look at either at home or at school to remember some of the big ideas and concepts we review. Thank you.